Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. JW Solar USA. Look at this. Check this out. No snow. And it's 54 degrees. 54 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the first Christmas, you know, I can remember. Living in Minnesota for so long and no snow. It's just like spring. The wind is blowing and it's raining. It's raining. Check this out. You see the water dropping from the roof right here uh, with the FTA satellite. Look at that. And for your information, the FTA satellite is still working. I just stopped talking about it. Look at the grass, it's almost like it's not even dead. If this continues like this, it's gonna look like uh, somewhere like fall. But to be honest with you, this feels good. You know, everything in life has consequences, advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage is like this. If we stay like this all year round, it's going to be a big drought when it comes to the farmers to start doing their thing. It's not going to be good because we'll have snow that really um, penetrates the water level is going to drop and we're not gonna be able to have a good meal when it comes to food. It's gonna be a trouble. But it's beautiful like this. But other states can still survive with that. They do their farming and everything. Why not, Minnesota? Let's enjoy this day. Yesterday was warm too. I would say warm in Minnesota. And today is, I think it was 40 something, 47 or so, approximately. But we are in 54 degrees. See the water? <laughs> it just feels so nice. I opened the screen door. It's beautiful. And back to our regular uh, conversations is batteries. And these batteries we charged. After depleting them, come to zero. Check part eight before this video. You'll see how we go with the, the series in sequence but that eight would have been seven okay part eight would have been seven and seven would have been eight so this is what talking about here and i switched the um the inverter to the mm12 12. So we about to run some more loads. MM1212. 12, 12. 12 volt, 1200 watt. So I took the MMS1210, which is 12 volt, 1000 watt, or a kilowatt. So we about to light up the screen right here. So after I let the battery sit for about two days and it's dropping it was 14 something 14 6 well remember the inverter is tied into it but it's not just activated so it's on the off position there's still power going through the capacitors or diodes or MOSFETs and all the PCB board everything so it's still consuming power one way or the other if I look at the shunt over there, it's going to tell us how much power has been drawn from this battery just sitting without being activated. But this is what I found so hard when it comes to lithium ion phosphate. And um, it's almost coming to 1300 hours right there at the top. And it still say 100%. But look at that. It's taking power. It's minus 2 watt. Okay, it's pulling um, 0.13 every day, 24 hours a day. It keep going. 
and you're losing power. But as I was watching or studying the discharge rate into these batteries, I still take the um, lithium ion battery to my experience, I don't know, for other people, is the lithium ion the NMC batteries or whatever, the Chrysler Pacifica, I charge them uh, 60 volts, which can go up to about 67 volts, max charge. They are still maintaining for years now, they've been sitting approximately three years now, two or three years ago, yeah, about three years ago, way before COVID. So it passed over, passed over three years ago. And the batteries are still having the voltage. And with the lithium ion phosphate, I see the self-discharge rate, I think, is greater compared to the uh, uh, lithium ion. So look at that. We are bringing zap nothing power five watt. I showed you. It's just the camera sensor was showing like maybe kind of brighter, but it's not bright at all. Nothing. So check these batteries with the two shunts and uh, Ford Focus is going down to forty six percent, and um, the E Golf is still on ninety seven. That's why I separated them and I have two shunts because the capacity on this one, the Volkswagen e golf is 450 amp hours, while the Ford Focus is two, 272. So it's just like someone having two BMS in a system, which if that battery, the, like the Ford Focus was already depleted and it reached to the threshold, it will shut down or maybe you're going to have a, a incoming power rush to that in to the other battery you uh, transfer the power see it's not happening here with the shunts what i have done so the e-golf is not taking the power back and send it to the ford focus battery it's not like that they're all tied into the same positive bus bar and they are just separate from the negative part of it let me show you this is what I'm talking about so each battery comes to here okay the log and this log and they come in to this bus bar here they tie there so as the positive they come down that's the inverter that's the other battery bank right there the e-golf with a uh, breaker, circuit breaker. This is the inverter. And these shunts comes from different two batteries. This is the Eagle, um, Ford Focus. It has its own shunt, which comes all the way to this one here. And um, that's the batteries all linked in series, two in series, two in series, whatever and all the way to here and it has its own disconnect it has its own shunt look at the fuse right there smart shunt for victron and um they don't see each other they just produce power due to the battery capacity they all gonna be drawn differently so Watch this. It's taken from the Ford Focus battery, which is the last battery I just showed you, and it's pulling 3.58 amps. And the E Golf is going to be pulling a 4.08 amps. So, since the Ford Focus is the one with the lowest capacity, you see the state of charge is depleting compared to this one, EGOV says 71%.
and but the battery voltage look at that it's a nine millivolt deviation most of the time when it comes to lower then they can see the devi deviation or else is one to one or zero to zero or one is to two two millivolt differential and look at that see the voltage 30.09 30.1819 so it's about nine millivolt deviation so let's go back to this one here our test site let's see the battery how they drain <clears throat> from that distance where they are I showed you earlier we're talking about the 12 volts now here okay so this is what it is so let's check the history see how much power look the the, the charge the discharge and charge was 14.8 but it was all the way max charge and look at this is the, that's why I said it last time when I was doing the uh, the discharge and oh I forgot to uh, zero it out I forgot to reset do the reset down here and reset it I thought I reset it, then we would have cut it how many amps you already took from the battery for just sitting down ah so you just add up to this it's hard to tell oh well we missed the the concept or the the thing I'm about to talk about here and uh, it's not valuable anymore but anyway so this is the system and Merry Christmas to you guys this is just um uh elaborate about the system and what we want to talk about here and we have all the three shunts the uh, three shunts are here and uh, two charge controllers are here so our test site is this one this is the um ford focus and the e-golf like and subscribe jw solar usa merry christmas and um, tell me what you guys want to see or what you guys want me to um, to show you guys or what's your opinion for the new year. I know I can always try to see if I can able to do it. And um, we can see how we can bring other topics. But we talked about batteries for a year. 2023 was all about batteries. So we talked about these batteries they sent us guys and we sent talk about these batteries we talked about we talked about these batteries right here whole oh, bunch of batteries we talked about we talked about the Winstons here we talked about BMS we talked about these batteries here and all oh, bunch of them I already put them away we talked about uh, the Ford Fo uh, Volkswagen e-golf batteries here. And of course, we talked about these Ford Focus. So we did a whole of talking with even these guys. Uh, Panasonic batteries here with a built-in BMS on them. These guys here, the same. And of course, these guys here, we talked about them. And lastly, we talked about these guys. For over a year, we're talking about them. Different batteries. We did talk about these ones as well. See, Panasonic. This is the one with the BMS and well done without the BMS. Which are these batteries here without the BMS on them. When I did all the connection, 12 batteries, modules, all in parallel. You've seen this? And we did talk about these ones as well. These are another Panasonic batteries. Yeah, this one's here. Remember? The LG, sorry, I call them Panasonic LGs. So I did all the specifications here. Three of them never been utilized. The QR code is right there. And um, 
They are here waiting for action. We have a redundant system. And especially the command center. Command center is covered while the other guys are doing a test. We talked a lot about this. A lot. You know, we co covered a lot. So what else can we talk about 2024? You let me know and I see how I can able to adjust myself. But I don't want to go too much on spending, getting stuff. And these ones are all batteries we're gonna we, it's already gonna be utilized they have a home they have a place they have something and you guys have heard about my international GW Solar USA International here goes another outback here never been utilized it's a 30 32 volts which is a 36 volt it's sitting here and whole bunch of stuff there goes another magnum right there see that it's not even in place yet well we have the du the dual like a dual system right there we got we didn't even put it together have another one here at the command center so it's really hard to do all these things when you have a plan but it's not even done we also talk about the rely on batteries these guys remember we talked about this guys so a whole bunch of batteries, things we covered. It's unbelievable what we did for 2023. The other batteries are all underneath that here, which are the Chrysler Pacifica. So let's start a discussion, full di new discussion, all the things which you guys want me to do because I'm running out of ideas here. Like and subscribe.